हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रिजवान यूसुफ वेलकम टू दी सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ पे पाल पेमेंट गेट वे इंटीग्रेशन इन ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एम बी सी ओके वॉट वी सा इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सा हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अकाउंट ऑन पे पाल हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ऐप ऑन पे पाल एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट सैंड बॉक्स अकाउंट ऑन पे पाल ओके If you have not seen the last part of this video series, I will strongly suggest please go and watch it first for the better understanding of this video. Okay, what we will do in this video, we will use the credentials of PayPal in our ESP dot net core application. As you know, we have pet information management system. We created this application few month ago. you can also watch the tutorial how we can perform crud operation using asp.net core mvc okay on my youtube channel in this application this is the area where we will add buy now button okay and we will use paypal credentials like secret key client id in program.cs class and later part of this video we will add model model classes we will add model classes related to our project so these are the major objectives of this video okay let's do it in first step we will add paypal credentials in in the app settings.json okay we will click on app settings.json here we will add client id client secret key client secret and mode as well okay okay we will set the mode attribute sandbox not live okay because we are testing because we are right now testing on sandbox account when we have a production account then we will set then we will set the value of mode attribute live not sandbox okay right now we will set sandbox now we will add model classes in our project okay okay we will define the properties or attribute of this class paypal client look like this okay we have a constructor in this class and these attribute as well we have a parameterized constructor okay we will use this class in the later part of this video okay
no we will set the credentials like client id client secret and bot in program.cs class We will copy. And paste. And then we will copy. This one. And paste. Okay. We will change it like this, okay? Okay, now we will add two more model classes which we will use in the later part of this video, okay? This piece of code we will use in order to store the product item name and item rate in session in session attribute okay we will use in the we will use this piece of code in the later part of video now we will add the buy now button in our this view in our index view main view okay Controller. Action. Route ID, ESP route ID. Which is pet ID. Okay. VTN Prime B, and this is a style. Tag. And this is a style tag. Okay. Here I will type by Now we will run our application and uh, we will see the button on index space it is working as expected or not. So you can see buy no button the code is working as expected. In the upcoming video we will add card controller and checkout controller and the rest of the functionality will be done in the next video. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.